Okay. Next is fourth floor. Teams. Okay. So again, input natin yung ating project details. School building. Okay. Then file. Link natin yung X uh stud file. So, click beam. Okay. Okay na tayo dun sa roof beam. Ito yung level na yon. Next is fourth floor. Okay, so titingnan natin yung framing. Okay, ito na yung fourth floor, wala na tayong cantilevers. Tulad ng sa roof beam. Okay. So, again, settings, general and reinforcement, ductile, special lagi yan. Then add tayo ng 4000 PSI and 413 grade 60. Okay. Okay, paguhin natin na lang yan if ever base a design. And then again, 16 na lang. Minimum ko ng 16 na uh, rebar. Sa links naman or sa stirrups, minimum ko ng 10. Then 13 maximum. Sa side face reinforcement, okay. 10 na lang yan, minimum. And click OK. Uh, rebar curtailment, default na yan. Preferred bar spacing, okay. Four, five, seven. So, yun. Ayan. And then, basic load cases. E, Z, E, D, L, and live load. Ayan. And then, click OK. Add from analysis, yung ating load combination. Check natin. Tama, yan yun. 1.25 earthquake. Okay, click OK. Yun. Then, ayun na. Auto design. Nice. Okay. Mm-hmm. 416mm na siya. Then 20mm. Okay. Check natin dito. Unlock natin. Then baguhin natin yung ating setup. So try ko ng 3000 PSI. Okay. Then grade 60 na lang pa din. Okay. Or try natin mag-add ng grade 40 to 7.6. <coughs> Tingnan natin kung okay siya dyan. And then, ilimit natin yung ating reinforcement. And then, 25 maximum. Then, okay. Wow! It's okay siya. Ginawa natin 3000 PSI and grade 40 na rebar. Okay. So kaya siya. Wala namang failure. And then yung mga malalaking beam, critical beams natin ay kung mapapansin nyo, ito yung critical. Kasi dito yung buong floor na CHB. Okay. Then, ipat na rin ito. So, no, naka 400 by 600 naman yan. Okay. Tulip tayo dun sa design. Titignan natin yung design. Okay naman siya. 516mm. Tapos, sa mga malalaking beam is, we have 616, 620mm. Okay. Meron 25. Yan. So, unlock. But if gusto nating i-fix yung ating rebar size. Okay? So, balik tayo doon. Dito ka lang mag-change. Okay? So, let's say gusto ko siyang i-fix ng 16 and 20 lang. Okay? Tingnan natin. So, design natin ulit. 
Yun. Okay. So, sa design na to, nag pumili na lang siya ng 16 or 20mm. Okay. So, mostly 16mm. Sa mga malalaking beam, 16mm din. Pero, ang dami na. Kapot na ng 7. Okay. So, tignan natin yung section nito. Again, tignan natin yung section. Elevation ng section. T66. O yung malaki na na beam. Yung beam na yun. Tignan to. B54. Okay. B54. Yan. Yan. Okay. So, kung titignan natin sa section, napakarami na yan. Two layers yan na 7 and 5. Okay, and then meron pa tayong side reinforcement. Then sa bottom, 7. Okay. Kasi nga, in-adjust natin yung grade ng bakal and then yung concrete. Okay, so kaya dumami siya. Pero safe pa din. Okay. Now, kung gusto mong i-change, either balik tayo sa grade 60 and then 4,000 PSI. Okay? So, sa design na to, ginamit natin ang 3,000 PSI and grade 40 na FY na reinforcement. Okay? So, kung titignan natin, balik. Punta tayo sa text schedule or rebar schedule. Yun. So, check natin yung B54. Yan. So, 40 by 60 yan. Okay. And then, yung ating yung ating stirrups dyan ay, yan. Two legs. Okay. 14 pieces. Two legs. Diameter 13 at 95 center to center. Okay. So, yan yung ibig sabihin niya. And then, dito naman sa cent, sa mid sa mid part nating stirrups ay 22 pieces 2 legs diameter 13 at 180 then to sa right end okay so again pwede natin i-save to ito siya save natin yan as a okay framing plan ng ating fourth floor okay so, siguro hindi ko na ipakita ang second and third. Kasi typical lang naman yun dito sa fourth. Okay. And go na tayo sa slab design. Okay. Thank you.